Okay, so this is my personal blog, vlog two. And today I want to experiment and explore and notice when I feel like saying um or ah uh, because I feel uncomfortable with the silence, right? And so I'm gonna do a little walk and talk. Mishka's over here. And gonna let the thoughts fly. So I just recorded possibly my first YouTube video on perfectionism, procrastination, and imposter syndrome. Oh, let's go this way, darling. And I did it in quite a few segments. Like I couldn't do it all in one go. I really needed some time in between to kind of like collect my thoughts and that was okay. I am excited to share it, but I'm also very nervous because I don't know if people prefer, you know, the more polished version with the screens, you know, like bold text, um, animations and things like that or if people still value kind of very casual raw authentic chats like this thank you so we shall see I definitely said um and ah quite a few times in that video I was a little bit not nervous but just like I can be quite scatty in my thoughts sometimes, like naturally. I take, like, I, I joke that with my ADHD brain. <laughs> I kind of go in circles. I'm like, yeah, I'm like a massive squiggle. And I realize that most people don't function that way. Or most people are a bit more structured or they prefer to have a more structured sort of video or, or way of taking in information and and so I'm experimenting and I'm sort of trying to find a balance between between free flow and also having bullet points to have that structure and in between like letting myself riff off if I need to come back when I need to take pauses when I need to and um oops. yeah so it's going to be a continuous experience, experiment. I do feel quite comfortable, surprisingly, in front of the camera, speaking to it. I think, yeah, I'm just really used to it from all of my Loom videos, so it doesn't really phase me. I was looking back at all of my videos last night just to see what I was like and, and how I spoke back then and also my Kiwi accent, which I will probably never have again. And I found this one video and I was like, I do not sound like that. I was like, that is not me. It, was, it wasn't cringe or anything, but I was just like, she's a different person. And it completely blew my mind because, yeah, I just sounded so different. It was like, it's like a whole different identity, a whole different personality. Um, and, and just how crazy accents uh, can contribute to your personality and yeah I mean okay if I if I tried to do a Kiwi accent right now I would sound completely different and I remember my first dog her name was Honey and I would always call her Honey but like now I would obviously not say Honey like the way I do um I would, I would more like say honey, right? So it's just so different. I'm like a completely different person and I just, I couldn't grapple with that. Anyway, it was a fun, fun journey down memory lane. I, I think I stayed up to like 2, 2.30 a.m. just going through all my old videos, my travels through, uh, through Vienna, through Hungary, uh, Austria, uh, Thailand, is everywhere, Norway, Stockholm. And all these beautiful memories came resurfacing back up and I just felt so grateful and I think it's really nice from time to time to 
look back on those memories and also how grateful I was that I took these videos because I remember I had a few boyfriends well one boyfriend at the time and then since then I feel like I always attract men into my life who don't appreciate <laughs> capturing moments or who don't appreciate photography and videography in that sense and uh, they would always be like, I'm going to put the camera away, I don't want to be on camera, all these things. And so I kind of, sadly, didn't take as many photos or videos or memories as I would have liked. Um, Finishing my vlog two on the subject of trying to get better at not saying my arms and ours. So I was finishing up the story when my iPhone battery died, <laughs> as as it does. Uh, I think filming takes a lot of um, <laughs> awareness. So filming from the iPhone, takes a, a lot of battery and it just died super quickly. So I need to remind myself to actually bring an external charger with me next time so that that doesn't happen. So where was I? The, I was going down memory lane last night and it made me so nostalgic. And at the same time, I have a regret. I took so many photos, I took videos without audio and and the part that I regret is actually not taking more videos like this actually and kind of vlogging and, and expressing what came up for me at the time and or, or shooting people and, and, and moments and capturing that. I feel like I captured so many beautiful landscapes but without the human experience or, or how I experienced that moment, those beautiful landscapes kind of mean nothing or they're just, no one else will quite understand or, or be able to relate to me because they're just seeing something beautiful. Whereas, and it made me realize that it's the, it's the self-expression or how we experience a moment or yeah, how we experience moments that is actually what connects people to you or to that moment as well. Um, and, and I think this is kind of where um, art comes to play and, and I'm finally understanding art now much more. And so, yeah, I look back and I can see that I attempted to take a few videos I tried to vlog. I, I remember when Snapchat was a thing and Instagram stories started to become a thing. I, you know, can look back and I can see that I tried like you know, a few stories and um, commend my efforts. However, I remember filming those and actually never publishing them or I published them because it was like a collaboration or something with someone, but I always felt really awkward. I was like, eh, hi, I'm Emily. And I was like, trying to be really polished and, and trying to put on this kind of mask or this facade and I could really see it like I could really um, remember how I felt in that moment as well and I really wish that I had done this what I'm doing now earlier like I, I this is actually actually a massive regret of mine like all of these beautiful memories these moments that will I'll never have a game and I was just too scared to capture them and I don't know why I could have just done it and you know never even published it but no I would really struggle with self-expression I really struggled with voice uh and saying what it is that's coming up for me and I always escaped through uh through words instead so I found writing and, and journaling so I, instead of filming I would journal my thoughts I would journal my feelings because they felt um it, they came to me easier I think or maybe that was just a medium where it felt so private to myself that no one could judge it no one could 
um, punish me for it if it wasn't good enough. I don't know if, if my writing wasn't good, then what, what can you say about it? It's my journal. But filming felt like something that, you know, you would have done for other people and probably would have published it. And that felt very scary because then open yourself up to criticism or all these things. But I think when I peel back the layers as well, now actually doing filming and actually talking to a camera, I'm like, oh, this is actually my jam. Like, I would never have known this if I hadn't put in the work to overcome a lot of my blockages, my, my limiting beliefs, the stories, the fears, and, and heal a lot of what was in my subconscious fears around self-expression and voice, right? And so this feels very empowering to me to finally be able to enjoy this self-expression and share moments, thoughts without the fear of being judged. <clears throat> and I think it really goes to show how much I have healed as well. And I'm probably there's one of my most proud accomplishments like it isn't business it isn't like anything of the metric that most people would measure success by but like for me the biggest success has been overcoming a lot of the mindset blocks and and stories and beliefs that really held me back from feeling confident like really held me back from being able to a enjoy life b express myself communicate better to people um and see just like like feeling in my own power like i never really felt that um damn noticing when i say it so if you are in a space where if you're in a space where you recognize that you have this fear, lean into it. Because when we lean into our fears, that is where we will find the most growth. Um, it's so scary, like honestly, trust me, doing this, I was like, eh. I really didn't want to. But then it's like, you can feel one way and still act another. and that is where you find a lot of growth, right? And so, yeah, I'm gonna leave this there. It's like you can feel one way, you can feel like you don't wanna do it, you can feel like it's scary, um, catching myself out. You can feel that it's scary and it feels unsafe to your nervous system. And yet you can still do the action. And the more you do the action, the less fear you're going to feel and the more empowered you're going to feel. So, my loves, I will leave it there. That is day two of my blog journal. And I hope you have a beautiful day.